Hi everyone and welcome to the Game Changer Show. Are you interested in the latest advanced AI and blockchain technology? If so, you will definitely want to check out ChainGPT, the groundbreaking new project that combines the two. Their IDO at Citify is coming on 7th of April, following by TG on 10th of April. But before that, let's take a deeper look into what they offer and why you should be looking to participate in the upcoming IDO. Today, we got a chance to get all the answers from the CEO of ChainGPT, Elon. Stay tuned and watch our interesting conversation until the end. Hi, Elon. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Juliana. How about you? I'm doing well, well. Working all day long. <laughs> no vacations. Oh. But yeah, hopefully soon. Uh, let's start our conversation. And thanks a lot for coming here. And thanks for sharing some insights about your project, about um, AI space in general. Uh, but first of all, could you please introduce yourself? and tell us a bit more about your background in crypto space, but what is more interesting about your background in AI space specifically? Awesome. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here today. My name is Ilan Rakmanov. I'm the CEO and founder of ChainGPT. I myself am um, extremely passionate about blockchain and artificial intelligence. In ChainGPT, I was able to merge both of my passions into one product, which is the ChainGPT AI. I was originally introduced to the blockchain space back in 2013. I was a student, I was a freelancer, I was doing work for businesses around the world, specifically with coding, design, marketing, and I was getting paid in Bitcoin. Unfortunately, most of that Bitcoin was spent for day-to-day -day use. But um, since then, I already saw the potential about, of, of blockchain technology and I became extremely passionate about it. And that's when I started uh, exploring that sector. And then later on in life, I founded multiple companies in the, U in the U.S. I founded a real estate company. I founded e-commerce companies. I also founded a company that I really, really like, um, which is called Judea. And it's, it's more focused on Web2 tech development. And within, that comp uh, within my previous ventures, I got to, um, I got to experience a lot of different uh, situations. And I gathered a lot of knowledge about business development, product development, business management, legal and, uh, legal and business structure, um, accounting, you name it, marketing, design. I gathered a pretty broad skill set that allowed me to be able to create and manage successful businesses. Um, it's also important to mention that my only active role is in ChainGPT. I myself work 16 to 20 hours a day, so ChainGPT is the only one I have an active role in, regardless of my previous ventures. And uh, so this is a little bit of a natural about me as a CEO and founder. And then when the AI part comes really into play, back in last year, I got to experience a lot with artificial intelligence and machine learning through my, uh, through my other company, which I founded, which is more focused on Web2 technology development. We created different apps, um, specifically AI type of apps, uh, mobile apps, web applications. And then later in September of last year, I, I decided that I need a few more tools to help me also in my blockchain Web3 workflows for trading, for research. And I was surprised to find out that there actually isn't any AI tools for Web3. Um, and I knew right away that this is just, this is my, uh, my immediately I had a light bulb in my head. I saw already a vision. I already saw, I understood what I'm looking for in an AI tool for Web3, for blockchain, for crypto trading. And with my previous um, knowledge specifically also playing around so much with AI in 2022, I knew right away that this is, uh, I'm the right person to create such a product and help many other people in the space who can actually utilize AI technology. And in September of 2022, that's where our venture of ChangeGPT started and the product design began. We started building up a team, uh, et cetera. Wow. Amazing. So I hope this answers the question. <laughs> sure. That's a huge experience you have and like in absolutely okay. different fields, but I can see this um, business mind. And so as understood, you've been already interested in AI, but in Web2 space and yes. uh, also in crypto space. And then those two puzzles, they're like 
stick together and you understood like, aha, uh -huh, I need AI in Web3 space. That's, my, yeah, that's so kind of like my story. Um, I have degree in the marketing and I was always working as a marketer before. And my hobby was crypto. And I was like, why don't I work as a marketer in crypto? And then I found <laughs> Cityfy and like, I'm super happy to be a marketing manager and in crypto space. That's amazing. That's amazing when your hobby and your profession kind of like stick together. Exactly. And everything I do in life, I really like to follow my passion. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that I can work 20 hours a day as long as I'm passionate about it. And here, when I have coding, I'm also a self-taught developer. I control Solidity, JavaScript, and many languages pretty well. So, um, you know, I don't rely specifically just on developers to design my products for me. I actually come up with a design and I can also overlook my product uh, development managers as well because, you know, I can understand everything they're doing. So if I don't always have the time to code myself, I definitely have always the time to overlook everything. It's also important to know that Change GPT is a fully founder-led startup. Um, I go, I'm, I'm in every single meeting, if it's big or small, my team doesn't have time for insignificant meetings. So every meeting is important and I'm in all of it. I overlook pretty much everything in the company, although we're currently 20 full-time employees. Um, but this is a fully founder led on startup. Uh, I also like to mention that actually until today, we haven't even had a pre-seed or a seed round or any type of a private round. All expenses were paid out of pocket. So here to change GPT, I didn't just bring my passion, my time, my, uh, my name and my effort. I also brought in my own capital because this is, uh, yeah, this is my baby and I'm, I'm, I'm fully, um, passionate about what we're building and I'm so confident in the product. Of changing it. And I believe that this will help a lot of people um, um, to to use the blockchain space. And later on, I'm sure in this uh, in this AMA, we're gonna get a little bit more into how the product is working, what problems it's solving, how people can use it. Sure. Later on. <laughs> um, yeah. So since we started talking about uh, Chain GPT, uh, can you please tell us more how AI technology was used in Chain GPT project? and what benefits it brings to users. Sure, uh, I'm gonna share my screen if that is okay with you. I think it's the best to show that with a visual. Yes. Can you see that already? Yep. Okay, great. Um, so currently we have a prototype model of ChainGPT available on our website. Our, product, our, our prototype model is limited in comparison to the full version that we're currently uh, actively developing. We're estimating the full version to be released in two to four months. However, the prototype version is pretty incredible already. It provides so many uses and our uh, our community loves it. We currently have anywhere between 10 to 20,000 people using it a week and we're offering it currently for free. <laughs> awesome, Juliana. Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Uh, and. We currently have, uh, as I said, about up to 20,000 people using it a week. Everyone found it organically. We haven't even went as hard on marketing yet. Like uh, you're, help, you're a part of CDFI's marketing team. You guys are helping us so much. Also, it's important to know, note that I'm pretty sure everyone knows it, but CDFI is our incubator and um, definitely was uh, a great addition to Change GPT and open us so many doors. Uh, helped us so much in marketing and strategy and even product uh, design and gave us so much feedback of also the Cityfy community. So we're truly so happy. Uh, it's always important to give credit when it's due. We're so happy with all the help that Cityfy have, uh, have given us and also you personally, Juliana, all the marketing assistants and the Thank rest you. of the marketing team. Thank you very much. We will try our best uh, to bring the, yeah, best, you guys are amazing. the best launch. If there's any other founders or project uh, teams looking at this AMA right now, highly suggested, reach out to Cityfy. Uh, you know, I, I highly recommend it. Thank you. Um, Thank but you yeah, a little bit more uh, getting back to our prototype. So currently our prototype is a unique fine-tuned AI model developed on top of the OpenAI library. So in order for us to uh, provide a prototype early on, we, we had to start with a library and technology that already exists. And on top of that, we created multiple fine-tuned AI models, each for their own solution. And we integrated more unique features like live crypto prices, 
We integrated some uh, online data. Our AI mo our prototype models can already get some online data, get crypto prices. Um, they're very niche specific. They're also trained on a lot of, for example, the AI Solidity smart contract generator is trained on uh, very high quality audited um, smart contracts. And I'm gonna show a little bit about the prototype. And then I'm gonna get uh, into our V1 version that's expected to release soon. So with our existing prototype, there are currently four different options. You have the Ask Chain GPT AI, where you can ask any questions about blockchain, crypto, Web3, crypto token prices. We still haven't integrated all the crypto coins, but we integrated about top 300 coins and obviously all of our partners. Um, we have the AI Solidity smart contract generator, where you can describe any type of smart contract and within 30 seconds or less, it's going to generate that for you. And then we also have, um, so you simply in the AI smart contract generator, super simple. You describe the type of contract you would like, you click generate a smart contract, and within 30 seconds or less, you're gonna, uh, the change GPT AI will start generating it. And once again, it's important to note that while we're in a prototype, uh, while we're in the beta stage and the CGPT token also haven't launched, we're offering this completely for free. Anyone can access it. You don't even have to connect your wallet. It's all free of charge. So uh, this is a perfect timing to actually start playing around with our AI. And as you can see here, within 30 seconds or less, you get um, uh, you get a, a smart contract, a Solidity smart contract with the latest uh, um, latest stable Solidity uh, Pragma version. And it's using the latest uh, libraries like Open Zeppelin for safety. So it really depends on your needs, but it will integrate ERC20, which is a standard contract. It will integrate safe math. You can use it for to create multi-signature wallets. You can use it for any type of smart contract you, use case you can think of. And this way you can avoid already with our prototype, um, you, can, uh, you can already avoid the, the need in Solidity developers. Like we're not here to replace Solidity developers, but this is at least a gateway for people that might not have a capital or just want to deploy a contract for fun. They don't even, obviously we always recommend everyone to use, you know, experienced developers and security companies if you're actually going to do uh, anything related to, you know, a, a token and you're going to release it. But this is a great way, even for developers, instead of writing a line by line, they can describe what they need, generate a code within 30 seconds. They can go over it and read it. And this way, save a lot of time on actually writing the code. And then we have a Solidity smart contract auditor where you can paste any type of code into here, uh, click audit smart contract. And within 30 seconds or less, our AI is going to provide you with, um, with a contract audit. It's going over. Uh, all kinds of vulnerabilities. If there is bugs in the code, it's going to give you suggestions for uh, improvements in the code to optimize gas. So this smart contract will require less gas. Um, so you have gas optimization and um, also suge other suggestions that may cause vulnerabilities in the future um, within 30 seconds or less. So this is another great way for developers or just people in general while they're using smart contracts. If there isn't uh, an audit already in place, they can use this this tool as an extra um, opinion about uh, the smart contract they're about to integrate with or use. And developers can use this while they're coding to see if maybe they missed on something, maybe there is a, a security uh, vulnerability they didn't notice, or maybe they can improve the code so um, they can optimize the gas usage of this smart contract. Because as you probably know, uh, the more complex the code is and not optimized well, it can require more gas from the users in the future. And on chains like Ethereum, gas can be so expensive that every developer should always look to optimize the gas as much as possible. And then here you can see that within 30 seconds, a full audit report was generated, is being generated as we speak live. Our AI model goes through the code, analyzes it, looks for the vulnerabilities, and then provides you uh, the results and provides you with um, or with a suggestion for improvement. Nice, amazing. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this is a little bit more about the <laughs> prototype. And then, uh, <laughs> and then for the general uh, AI chatbot, you can use anything at all. You can ask, um, what is, what is the price of S fund, which is obviously the CDFI, um main utility token, and within just a few seconds, um, it's going to provide you with the current price of S fund volume circulating supply you can ask a, a little bit more who is the who is the ceo of cd5 
and it's going to provide you with an answer. You can ask anything whatsoever about, um, about the blockchain, crypto, Web3 space, and it's going to provide you with answers. You can even ask about how to run a Bitcoin wallet locally. It, it doesn't have to be uh, you know, specific to crypto projects. It can also be anything about the blockchain technology in general. What is your knowledge? What are the use cases, et cetera? And then the fourth, um, fourth feature we have in our prototype currently, this was added, um, you know, this wasn't planned. This was more requested by our community and partnered communities. Uh, they yeah, wanted- I want to uh, ask, want... what is that? <laughs> so, so in this feature, you can speak to these uh, famous crypto people, but to their AI versions. So you can speak to Vitalik ah. Buterin, to CZ, to Elon Musk. Will they, will they speak like uh, audio? But they are voices. no. So there is an audio, but they're gonna you're gonna receive a text that is very very much like these people. So it it's almost as if you're actually speaking to them. And we have a, a video releasing today on our YouTube dedicated to this feature, where our um, head of content and media is actually like speaking to these uh, to these different individuals, asking the same questions for Vitalik, for Elon Musk, for CZ, and comparing the answers. And it's pretty cool. Founders can actually use that also to get advice because these models exactly. are trained. Yeah, it's trained on their interviews and on so much information about these individuals that you're actually getting somewhat a close answer to what these people would give to you. Um, so this is a very cool feature we already have in the prototype as well. But it's always good to mention that this is, although we're already offering so much, it's very limited in comparison to what our main version is. Since the main version, we will also require CGPT tokens. And I'll also get into that a little bit uh, in a little. Uh, we're offering much, much faster servers because there is revenue being generated. And currently, it takes 30 seconds or less. In our uh, premium version, it's going to be pretty much an instant response from our AI. And there's so many more different tools and so many more uh, solutions or being offered there. Wow, that's so many yeah. things already in a prototype version. So what to expect in uh in pro version <laughs> that's gonna be yeah. a lot of new yeah. stuff and by the way by the way i was playing with uh chain gpt and you know i asked this question if chain gpt is happy to be incubated by cdfi and it answered me <laughs> that was fun <laughs> apparently chain gpt is happy to be incubated yeah. by cdfi extremely happy also the team of chain gpt is very happy um yeah, CDFi is honestly uh, amazing. The amount of help and support we've been getting from CDFi is just truly really, uh, incredible. Thanks. And a little bit more about the full version is that in the full version, the what the, the amount of um, problems we're aiming to solve already in V1 is truly, I personally believe businesses, developers, and individuals in the space will start integrating ChainGPT AI more and more in the uses. We can see that, for example, with ChatGPT, already so many people started with it and now are using it to rephrase emails, rewrite articles, you know, create copy, even Twitter marketing. I believe our social media manager uses uh, ChatGPT to, to rewrite tweets or come up with ideas. Um, <laughs> so actually, we can see that the people, people today are ready to start integrating AI tools. So we believe that they're ready for also the blockchain users are ready to integrate an AI tool. And therefore, in V1, we're already going to offer so many different solutions so they can start using our platform. And um, also, it's, you know, we are in competition. I'm sure there is other uh, other companies if they don't already develop similar products to what we're developing, there will be companies in the future. So for us, it's important to be the biggest and the first. So later, whatever AI tools will develop, instead of the creating their own um, models and data sets, they will instead focus on using our API key and access to our technology and develop such tools on top of our technology. So this is a big portion of our business model. Um, currently, the clients we're targeting are regular individuals. This is about the V1. Um, we're targeting regular individuals, just retail users of the Web3 space. We're targeting developers and we're targeting businesses. For example, the users will use our platform and just directly interact with whatever needs uh, they have. Developers and businesses, on the other hand, they can create either brand new applications or uh, platforms on top of our AI 
This way they avoid, you know, machine learning is not for everyone. You can be the best Solidity developer, but deep learning, machine learning, and AI, it's not your field. It also requires a lot of resources. It requires a lot of knowledge. And I have an incredible team of um, AI, AI development, and we're really good at what we're doing. And with the proper product design we've been uh, implementing in ChainGPT, I believe that there will not be another need in another AI model. So developers and businesses can use us and save resources, time, money, effort on creating a model when there is already a product that works very well. And they can create brand new products, brand new apps, brand new websites, brand new platforms. And businesses can actually integrate specific uh, use cases into their already existing business. We're also working on AML solutions that will help platforms, um, Web3 platforms to know what are the odds for example, that this wallet did something illegal on chain, committed fraud, committed theft, went into some type of illegal platform. And then we can provide the business that answer. What is the percentage that this user did it? And then the business gets to uh, decide if to deny that user or not. So this is just one uh, example out of many. I'm going to share my screen as well real quick, if that is OK. Sure. I actually like your point when you're saying that it will help uh, to people, but not replace people. So yeah. it will not lead to unemployment, like what most of the people saying, but it will actually be good addition uh, to, to business people, to some professionals. So yeah, just oh. people need to learn how to work with it in a more efficient way. Exactly, because I mean, education and educated people and knowledgeable people and uh, professionals will always be needed. For example, a company that develops a uh, product, they will still need developers that will design the product, know what to even ask the AI for. But then instead of them sitting there and writing for six hours, seven hours, a smart contract, they can generate it within 30 seconds, maybe adjust it more, provide more guidance. But then within five minutes or less, they can have the product that will take them hours to create. So this will actually utilize everybody's time. And that's why we, we our slogan is unleash the power of blockchain AI, because you will simply get almost of a superpower. You get advantage over other people. So we're definitely not here to replace people. We're here to just um, provide them this superpower of blockchain AI. Exactly. And um, here is an example of how a business can integrate a specific feature from our model. So we have a function that's called code to English that any Solidity uh, code can be converted into plain English. So with um, so with this feature, we have uh, the slogan is never sign a Web3 transaction you don't understand again. And what we do is that we have um, a browser extension that pops up every time you use uh, MetaMask and you're about to confirm a transaction. So our browser extension pops up and explains to you in plain English what you're actually about to commit to. So this way, users that don't understand Solidity won't get scammed and even won't um, every single bull run. My friends and family get into DeFi. They do something wrong. They somehow lose their money. They somehow get locked. They don't understand staking contracts. They lock their funds for a year without even getting in. I heard it all. And with this uh, browser extension, users can actually understand what they're doing before confirming the final transaction. And this is an example of a uh, this is an example in how a business can integrate it. Other MetaMask can actually integrate using our API, this feature built in. So on top of the confirm button, you will have uh, um, you will have the explanation. They don't even have to credit us. This is they will have to pay for every API request, but they can utilize the existing change GPT AI technology to improve their products. And we have so many different um, offers already to Web3 businesses that were uh, looking to start once we launch the product we're looking to start all different uh sales calls and offers thanks to cdfi and all of our other partners we have an, such a huge access to network of companies that we think we will be able to quickly integrate so many businesses and actually improve it improve these existing businesses as well i'm sure their com clients and communities will be happy with the extra features that our ai will be able to offer them but yeah but this is just one example out of many that's amazing so chain gpt has actually access to the internet yes because so right when now I, sorry for interrupting because i use ai uh, pretty often it is my life <laughs> and yeah. what i noticed that when i asked ai centralized ai to find me yeah. a link on the internet it told me that it doesn't have access to the internet 
And ChainGPT does. That's something new that yeah. I haven't seen in, in the rest mm -hmm. of the AIs, which is yeah, so perfect. I totally agree with you. So with our, uh, with the full version, what we've done is we pretty much are working on a model. We created our own crawler, which crawls a different, um, a, a pretty large database of websites that we trust because we don't want to pollute our AI answers with, you know, with just any type of uh, resource. Uh, it's also important to note that we're very, very particular with what type of um, what type of resources we use to teach our AI. We're we're cherry picking every single piece of information. We're picking very high quality sources of data um, in order for us to actually provide very accurate and reliable answers. This is extremely important. Uh, I know that competitors, what they did, they pretty much just took all the information that there is online as much as they could fit. They trained the model, and then the model just provides very often wrong answers, or it can just make, make up answers. Uh, so with us cherry picking information, being very careful, uh, we can actually provide very reliable and accurate data. And what we did in comparison to, for example, ChatGPT, by the way, I really like ChatGPT for, the, for its purpose. It's a very general AI. It's amazing at rewriting emails. Sometimes I believe that ChatGPT is better than our lawyer um, at writing uh, <laughs> official contracts. Um, but yes, I can see a lot of features that ChatGPT has to offer to people and why people love it. But then they were never designed specifically for blockchain purposes. And what we did with ChainGPT, um, we have currently four AI models that we're developing. We have one AI model that's dedicated to Solidity, which is smart contracts, code debugging, documentation, um, the smart contract auditing generation, everything related to Solidity. We have one AI model that does uh, chart and technical analysis. So it's trained for anything related to chart and technical analysis only. We have a third model that's in charge of the general blockchain crypto Web3 information. And we have a fourth model, which is an art generating model. And that's in charge of generating NFT type of art. The, it's important to note that the fourth model will only be available in V2. And the first three models are available in uh, v V1. Also out of marketing perspective, you know, um, we don't want to overwhelm our community and it's a great extra tool to offer in the future. Um, so, yes, yeah, so this way, by dividing multiple models and data sets in the back end, this is something that the user won't necessarily even be able to, to like understand. It all happens in the back end automatically. But by dividing these models and training them over 95% of each model is trained on a specific uh, type of information, we're able to actually provide very reliable and accurate uh, answers. So instead of asking if we would have trained one model on a broad information, it could even mix up the answers because it's a generative model. This is this is um, a mutual challenge that we all have in the AI space. And we solved it by providing very reliable sources of info and by dividing AI models with each of its own use case. So we currently offer four models. All of our models are connected to the internet. Um, they stay up to date with the latest news, research, technology, solidity updates, exploits. If a new crypto project launched and um, it already knows about it, it scans, for example, for Medium articles and learns about new things that come out. So if CDFI uh, pushes a new announcement, our AI will already know about it. So as soon as you post it. So we're, uh, we're crawling certain websites, like I mentioned, and it stays up to date. Um, in addition to that, we also provide crypto prices, historical data. So our chart and technical analysis model can actually provide pretty good uh, technical analysis for you. Um, as a, if you're an experienced trader, you can use it to implement strategies. You can use it to, instead of doing it manually with TradingView, you can just describe what you need. Our AI will do it for you and present a chart. We're, we're uh, literally creating here um, like a, a blockchain, AI, crypto, Web3 superpower. Whatever you do in Web3 a space, you can utilize ChangeGPT AI to improve your workflow. And this is just in a nutshell of V1. Yeah, indeed. This is real superpower. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I was actually, uh, I'm trading myself sometime here and there. And I asked uh, ChangeGPT to build a bot <laughs> because I was, at some point, I was so tired of trading. And I'm like, I need a bot, AI bot that, that will tra trade for me. And I asked ChangeGPT to do that. And um, yeah, ChainGPT can do that easily. <laughs> so yeah, so we're actually training it also on PineScript, where you can um, where you can truly create 
trading bots, which you can later use in TradingView or on other platforms. So this is definitely also something we're aiming for. Yeah, and then a little bit more about the business model. Just one second, yeah, uh, I'm sure. going to share the screen again. Mm -hmm. So a lot of users ask us, okay, so this is an AI model. It's very cool, very useful for Web3. How is it actually going to be an ecosystem? So everything I just mentioned, our entire platform is backed by the CGPT utility token. So the CGPT utility token is your access to chain GPT AI. In order to individuals, obviously we appreciate our community so much. And when it comes to Web3, community is almost everything. You want to have a strong, supportive community. So we're not we're looking to actually be very cheap and very accessible for the public, for the individuals. So what we did, we were offering three different type of models. We offer a beta access, which is free but limited, um, so it doesn't cost us too much. Uh, and then we have um, a pay, two premium paid models. One of them is called the PPP model, which is paper prompt, where users can pay for each request. So if you just want to generate one smart contract, you can pay in CGPT just for the one request. Or if you want a monthly subscription, we have a way in which you stake CGPT tokens. It gets locked for 30 days. You get free unlimited access to the AI for 30 days. And then after 30 days, that amount of CGPT tokens gets unlocked back to you. And then so it's technically free. And the value you're providing to us is by staking tokens, locking them for 30 days, and providing us with stability. Then later in the road, we're also a DAO. So every, a lot of things we're going to do with DAO proposals. Later in the road, this may change. But this is uh, the business structures we have at this time. And then developers and businesses, obviously, for them, there is no free access. Um, they're going to be supporting. Uh, they're, they're the main target for revenue for the platform. Uh, developers have a cheaper access to the AI uh, with API calls, but they're very limited to the amount of calls. So if they're building uh, a product that becomes super successful, they will have to upgrade to enterprise, which will be a little bit more costly. And businesses are definitely, um, since they're going to generate a lot of revenue, thanks to our technology, they will be paying accordingly based on every usage of their API, every API request they will be paying. And the really cool thing we're offering to businesses, uh, to already existing businesses, is that our development, development team, if we assess the business and we see a good partnership, we will develop free products for them. So if they want a specific use case, we will develop also on their end. We will develop an SDK just for them to integrate into their platform. We're already speaking to a few uh, different uh, existing Web3 businesses. They told us their needs. The one of them um, it actually tried to create their own AI, which kind of sucked. And they told us, OK, so can you help us? And we're already working on that end as well. Even though the V1 is not released, we're already are, are, are planning our um, S, uh, the SaaS model, the software, uh, the software sell pretty much. Now, the pretty cool uh, part here, how is this actually benefiting the holders? 50% of all the revenue brought into chain GPT is automatically burnt out of the supply. So if let's say business X wants to integrate chain GPT AI, they will have to purchase CGPT out of liquidity pools, deposit it into their account. And as soon as they deposit into the account, 50% of it gets burnt out of the supply. So it's, you can look at it as a buyback and burn mechanism. So every single time um, we receive revenue, uh, the, the amount of CGPT tokens in circulation actually decreases, which in a speculative way, it can also be looked at that the value of CGPT for each token will increase. Now, this is in a speculative way, of course, but um, uh, the fact is that the token is deflationary. So every time it's being used, it's being burnt out of the supply. The remaining 50% is being used for development, for marketing, for community incentives, for rewards, farming, and et cetera, all the other um, wallets that you would normally see in the token economics. And this is how our ecosystem works and supports itself. Nice, nice. I see. Uh, that was actually my question uh, because it's super important for investors who will going to participate in the upcoming IDEO, uh, yeah. which is coming on 7th of April. So as I understood the main utilities and benefits for CGPT, Basically, it opens additional features uh, for the platforms. Yes. So in order to access truly the premium unlimited version um, and access the full uh, scope of <clears throat> solutions we offer, you will require to use 
CGBD tokens. Right, right. That's great, amazing. Uh, one more question. <clears throat> As you know, uh, this year is a huge trend for AI projects in Web2 and in Web3. So how are you planning to stay competitive on the market? I know you already mentioned so many things, and actually I already see that you guys pretty much super competitive. But still, maybe there is some any cool future plans, any amazing partnerships. You have mentioned some. Uh, companies, maybe you're not allowed to talk about it yet, <laughs> but um, can you share what, what are the future plans? Yeah, so uh, with our existing business model, um, we've been developing different AI models that can help so many different businesses, not just individuals. We believe that we're the leaders currently in this niche specific development of AI. We have been training AI models for months now. We're very, um, uh, I, I believe maybe a lot of projects will join now since AI became more like hypey in the crypto space. But then the fact is that we started this process before it was already hypey. We have the advantage of time. We have a large experience team on board. Uh, our head of AI development is Dr. Adnan Tariq, who's an award-winning computer scientist, over 18 years of experience. His specialty is blockchain, AI, and machine learning. So uh, we've been not just working for a while, we also have an incredible team who's best suitable for this job. Um, and then we, per I personally believe that with the, with the models that we're offering, we already developed the technology. Why would any existing business waste resources a year or maybe more so much money when it's so much cheaper for them to simply integrate us. And because we're currently leading and we're targeting so many different solutions, uh, we have amazing partners like yourself and so many different partners, uh, not all we can announce right away. We also have a lot of backers. We have access to so many businesses. So besides the current Web3 platforms, we already started um, you know, the process of integrating ChainGPT AI. We also have access to so many other platforms. So we, um, unlike many uh, projects that will may come up later, uh, we also have the credibility part. So beyond technology, uh, beyond the experience, we also have the credibility on top of also the actual great solution we're offering. So we believe that we're extremely competitive and um, we're looking forward to integrate as many businesses as possible and do it in a very efficient way and also provide a great service and um, Price-wise, also, that's important. A lot of other AI tools, um, because we don't see many in the blockchain space right now, but a lot of them in Web2 space are building on top of OpenAI. And OpenAI itself, they're limiting uh, companies that are using them. They're also very expensive. So by us building independent AI models and using our own servers, we're able to be so cheap for ourselves in comparison to OpenAI that for our users, we can be even cheaper. So price-wise, it also makes much more sense for them to go with us rather than other tools. And what we're also expecting is that there will be other companies that will build their tools on top of change APT AI and then resell that to other businesses. We're also expecting that because we see this happening a lot in the Web2 space with OpenAI. Nice. And all the in transactions will be in CGPT, correct? Yes. At, the, at this time, all the transactions will be in CGPT. In a year from now, in two years from now, if any of our community would like to run a proposal and say, hey, let's have half of it also done in USDT so the company can get a USDT token and then they're not uh, looking to sell or anything like that, we can also do that. But actually, um, we're very aiming to keep it all in CGPT because it's going to keep the ecosystem alive, provide so much value to users, and then bring so much additional um, you know, this is at the end of the day, CGPT is the backbone of this whole ecosystem. Right, exactly. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing conversation. And thanks so much telling a lot about the project. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone should try ChainGPT. But again, um, you actually need to learn how to use AI because this is the future. Like people have to have to learn how to use uh, AI in a correct way. Yeah, I agree. All right, Elon, thanks so much. And that was pretty great conversation. Thanks, and I will see you 
somewhere around. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Time. Thank you very much, Juliana, for having me. I had such a great time and I'm looking forward to our next conversation. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. That was an interesting conversation about AI technology in the Web3 space. ChainGPT is still on the early stage of development, but it has already created a lot of buzz in AI and blockchain communities. If you want to learn more about this exciting project, be sure to visit ChainGPT website and their socials. I'm sure you will not want to miss on this innovative technology. And don't miss the ideal date on 7th of April at CityFi. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.